Hey guys, so today I wanted to review my Glossy Box May Box. This is my very first Glossy Box subscription ever. I live in the US, so I know a lot of the YouTubers that like record their Glossy Boxes are typically from the UK. So I just wanted to kind of give you what the box looks like from like an American perspective compared to like Ipsy and because I know um, like Ipsy and uh, what is it, BoxyCharm, like all of those brands are big in the States. And so I just kind of wanted to give you guys an idea of how glossy box maybe stacks up to those in case you're thinking about um investing in a glossy box subscription because i know when i was looking i just was looking for other really cool beauty boxes and um every single review that i was looking at was typically from the uk and there weren't too many americans reviewing it so i was curious to see kind of like what um that box was like from an american perspective um so the first thing when you open this box this is actually the lid of the box and I wanted you guys to see you can see the theme it's like the wild thing sort of theme for me that they've got going on so that's really cool um, and everything inside the box is sort of on this like wild side sort of theme so when you first open your box it kind of looks like this you've got it's tied nicely I've already actually opened my box to look through it and make sure none of the products were damaged before I filmed so you can see I've undone the ribbon the first thing you see is like their little card and it says to explore your wild side. Um, it tells you June is gonna be the, for next month, the sneak peek is June is gonna be like a world theme for um, Glossy Box. And um, inside it gives you like a little fold out of all the products that you get. Um, they have a retail value. I am not the type of person that goes gaga over the retail value of these boxes like or like the you know the bang for your buck. I know some people do um, and they get really upset whenever the bang for your buck is less than like you know because some boxes will be like oh you pay 35 but we have a guaranteed value of products in here that are going to be a hundred dollars and that doesn't really bother me whether or not they stack it with um, you know that value like if you give me instead of 35 I get $50 worth of product I am okay with that so long as those 50 products were something that I was actually going to go out and spend my money on and I ended up just getting it in here so if it can save me money that way I'm okay with it um so yeah it comes in this like cute little ribbon so when we open it up the first thing we have is an Ico liquid liner I um, as I've mentioned in previous videos, I'm not huge into liquid liner these days. I wore liquid liner probably every single day in middle school and high school whenever I was doing my eye makeup. Um, it was quick and easy. I didn't put any eyeshadow on. I just did liner and, you know, out the door for the days whenever I dressed up. Um, so... For a while I was really good at liquid liner and it was my thing and so because of that I am not really into liquid liner these days but um, I'll keep it or I may gift it to somebody who does wear liquid liner. Um, you guys may see it in a giveaway in the future but that's the first product. I've tried other Ico products. I do like I can't remember it might have been Allure. It was back several at least probably five or six years ago when I got my first Ico product so I do recommend them I think they are a good brand um I just personally do not wear liner right now so um the next product is Elemis it's a pro collagen cleansing balm um Elemis is really popular I've never tried products from them um so I'm excited to try this collagen is great you know for filling in as you age um you lose collagen I won't claim that I have researched all the science of how the collagen gets back into your face or if something like this is even going to be a product that will put the collagen back in your face on like a scientific level so I'm not out here saying hey this is going to do anything that would be interesting to kind of go look up but if this does kind of help your collagen and put it back in your face um that would be a really cool concept it would be a nice product and it would be great for anti-aging so um this seems like a nice product and actually it says it's a cleansing balm so let me see here it says that it will dissolve makeup yep um, so you're supposed to like apply it on your face and leave it on for 10 minutes, kind of like a mask, and then take it off. So I'm excited to try that. Let's see what it looks like on the inside. So it just kind of looks like a sticky little product in here. It smells nice too, actually. It's kind of got a, um, let's, 
just caught a whiff of that. Ooh, it's, I mean, some people will probably think it's a chemically smell. I'm weird. I like the smell of gasoline, so certain chemical smells don't bother me. I actually find them fairly nice. Um, so this one, it definitely smells, oh, I feel like it kind of smells like Vicks Vapor Rub in a sense. Like, not that, like, harsh, like, it hits your nose and then you feel like all your sinuses are cleared sort of the way Vix is. I feel like this has that smell but not with that like really powering sort of eucalyptus almost like up your sinus scent. Um, so that's a really nice product that I'm looking forward to using. The next thing is the CBD and I don't know if this is like a proper like CBD product. It might be be. I don't see why they would label it CBD if it didn't actually have CBD in it. Um, but it's a rose face mask. So yeah, it says your hemp rose face mask on the back. So it definitely does probably have CBD in it. Um, but it's supposed to be for toning and moisturizing and you're just supposed to put it on your face and use it like a regular sheet mask. So I'm excited to try that. Uh, most people who got the glossy box this month, you will get one of these masks. Um, but they could be in three different, um, I guess, not flavors, but like types, I guess. Um, there was an aloe vera, there's a charcoal and a rose. I'm glad I got the rose because it seems the most perfect for my skin tone charcoal. I don't really have a whole lot of acne going on right now, so I don't really see why I would need a charcoal. A aloe vera would be nice. It calms and soothes your skin, but rose, I really love the scent of rose if it's done well, so I'm excited to actually get the rose one. I have no complaints about that, so I'm very excited. Um, the Actually, I was going to say the last thing, but no there are actually two things in here um the next thing that i got as i open it up is the belle pierre cosmetics um i can't read this backwards kiss proof lip creme in antique pink so let me open that um this is what it looks like in the bottle sort of like a nice pinky mauve or mauve however you say it um this is what it swatches like these are typically colors that I, I'll wear occasionally. It's not my favorite, favorite lip color. Um, so I may gift this to like my mom or my sister because there are people that really don't care that there's a swatch on my hand. Um, I may end up using it, we'll see. Um, just because I do have a lot of lipsticks in this color. It's a nice color for every day. It's just these days I'm sort of more into like paler nudie pinks as you can see on my lips right now. So, um, That'll be a nice color. I'm glad I got it. I do love liquid, like, I like liquid lipsticks. They are a bit drying. I know people say that, but I like the ones kind of like Patrick Ta has out right now where it's like a creme almost to where you get the liquid liquid permanence, but you also get um, a little bit of hydration. So it's not going to give you kind of what they call um, butthole lips where like you have like all these little cracks inside your lip, which is great for me whenever I don't have a butthole lip because I feel like my lips naturally are very, very wrinkly. Um, they have folds in them, so anything I put on them, after a while, the lipstick, the um, lip gloss, everything is going to settle into all of that. And some people say it's due to aging when you have wrinkly lips like that. I swear that as like a toddler, I still had wrinkly lips. So it's at some point, you know, it's going to be genetics. So I just prefer my liquid lips um, or like my liquid lipsticks with like a little bit of a like cream so I can wear them and they're hydrated and then I can just you know swipe chapstick over it to make it extra hydrated to, uh, throughout the day but the color is still there. Um, the last product is actually the Saint Laurent Wild Thing palette which I guess the box is kind of themed and based around. Um, one thing that I've heard that I wanted to mention before I go into this product is I've heard that when glossy box, like if you sign up late, like maybe towards the end of the month or something like that, and they run out of boxes, instead of giving you this month's like May Wild Thing box, they will give you a comparable value box that has different products. So it may not be this particular box, but it's just a selection of products that they've had in the past. And I know some people get upset with that, but I think considering how shipping is going with like the whole COVID situation, and um, you know supply and demand. I feel like when you first start 
and sign up for a subscription, you can't expect your very first box to be amazing right off the bat, especially if you signed up late. Like that's kind of on you is my own personal stance. Other people may disagree, but um, they're very, I feel like, transparent on at least glossy box of when they sell out. Like I saw a few weeks after I'd signed up, they wrote that they had sold out of this box. So I was 100% just kind of like, okay, if they send me another box full of random stuff, I'm not gonna be mad. Um, but I ended up, I guess, getting the Wildling box and I'm happy with that too. So I guess I'm not the type of person that has a whole bunch of really big demands for these things. Um, like I said, as long as I get some nice products for the money I spent, I'm happy. I'm kind of an easy customer in that way. The only thing that really bothers me is like for my skin tone, if I get something that really doesn't work, that's whenever you kind of irked me as a person. Um, so here is the woo don't want to blend you guys the wild thing palette from steve laurent um it's full of neutrals um it kind of reminds me of those mac nine pan palettes in fact i feel like this is almost an exact dupe of maybe one or two of them because like right when i opened it i was like oh i feel like i've seen this before like it's not something that's like super super original um it's mostly i feel like cool toned if you look at it mostly kind of like cooler tones over here there's like a few warm tones like this one is warm toned um let's do a little swatchy swatch and see what these look like um ooh, they feel nice for swatches um let me see if i can get you guys some matte shadows to swatch I'm probably like the worst person on the planet like to swatch things while I'm filming so sorry you guys but that was the liquid lipstick so ignore this pink one but you can see the two brown sort of shimmers this one's like an olive tone and that's like a gold shimmer this is a matte color and then there's another matte one that I ran through my knuckles they swatch very smoothly I'm a bit concerned about how they're gonna show up on my skin tone granted your hand is not exactly an accurate way to swatch things but um, I will keep you guys posted on how they look on my eyes typically what I'll do is if you go on my Instagram I will post looks with these products and and tag you know all the products that I've used so overall I am very very happy and excited this is my first glossy box I did get it at like an intro price of I think 10 to 16 dollars I think the normal box is 25 I could be completely wrong about that but I feel like it's a fairly inexpensive like 25 to 30 I remember thinking it was in the range of like some of my ipsy and a birch or not birch box but um, boxy charm boxes so it wasn't super super expensive um, in that sense but I did feel like kind of looking at what they've put out there because I was trying to look for an alternative to some of my other boxes that they gave you consistently what I felt like were quality or products that I personally would use and match me better than maybe sometimes ipsy or boxy charm were getting at um, so that was kind of nice I felt there like there was kind of an equal balance of skincare and makeup which is what I'm looking for in a box so I really feel like glossy box is a box that I am excited to get to know um, and I don't know too many Americans that actually get the box so that's kind of cool hopefully um, it will you know become more popular because I think they do do a good job especially with the products and the boxes that I've seen so but I will keep you guys posted as I keep getting the box I will keep reviewing it and letting you guys know my thoughts but hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys next time bye